Wander is doing a 100% legit run. Well, I haven't cheated yet. Sure, I'm exploiting the fact that they gave me a messiah really early on, but still. Okay, so we want to do... I'm not entirely sure who cast auto recover there. Or if it was like item. Ooh, that's an interesting question. Yeah, whatever. It was there. I swear I ran past an item. I might have, I might not have. Okay, but yeah, let's go back in here. And let's get all that. Uh. Oh, hi! Ah, ah, ah. I was not exactly prepared for that experience. Let's see, do I plan on starting cheating? Kinda depends. The answer is both yes and no. Nope, that's not the one. There we go. It didn't kill them all! Now that's a new one! Was not expecting that. I guess my Arsene is not nearly as powerful as Thanatos, so there that actually kind of makes sense. Well, it's okay. I mean, whatever. All right. Wander did cheat for money so far. I I disagree. I have not cheated for a single thing in this game. Everything that I have done so far was mechanically uh was was mechanically part of this game. I have exploited no glitches. I have exploited no, uh, no codes, no hacks, no nothing. I just found out that, uh, confusion on mid-bosses is incredibly ridiculous. I feel like I am about as squeaky clean as can possibly be. Naga speaks. Uh, lend me your power. I don't know what I'll use with a use a naga with, but I'll grab it anyway. Don't forget this feeling. You're looking for a clever use of game mechanics. Yes, it's like when I was playing uh, Fable and I I made like a ridiculous amount of money by uh, by exploiting the fact that merchants have like the shortest term memory ever and no sense of uh, supply and demand. It's not my fault they were, like, crazy susceptible to, more or less, the equivalent of high highway robbery. I have something. Shadow ahead. Show me Confusion on mid-bosses, you say, noted. You didn't know about that trick? It took me, like, two hours to make, like, a ton of money. It was worth it, and I'll probably do it again once we get, uh, higher up in there. Yeah, unfortunately, these suckers have a uh, high evasion. Probably means I should actually use my like you know spells here. I don't. Can they dodge those? I have no idea. Not that it really matters. Okay, I think I'm gonna turn this down. I love the music in in this game, but the music is starting to get repetitive. Oh. All right. You know what? I know why the music is getting repetitive. It's the same music that we've been listening to this entire time. Let's switch everybody back to their their old armor sets. Cuz yeah, it, we've been listening to that same song this entire time is starting to get, uh, get to me. I'll reveal your true form. Let's see, did I record this Fable gameplay? No, this is back when I was in seventh grade. It has been quite some time since, uh, since I've played Fable. Because, yeah, I, I, I'd like to actually play Fable at some point on this channel. I think it would be enjoyable. 
but I've I've never actually played it on uh, on this channel. I don't know. It would it would be cool. It's the the unfortunate part is I'd also want to play Fables two and three, probably, uh, just because. And I know Fable two and three would be harder to record. I guess I do have an Xbox, so it wouldn't be impossible. Okay. Does the armor affect the music? Yep. At least partially. Because the music, uh... The music is based on the main main character's equipment. There's no, like, weird remix versions that you can get by mixing and matching. I might have to get the, uh, get some new... I could go with the, uh, beachwear clothes because of desert. D do the beachwear clothes change the music, though? I guess we'll find out! Oh yeah, beach time. Wait, oh right. I guess that actually makes sense that uh, Yusuke would be in like a hoodie and stuff. He would be in a hoodie on the beach. I'll reveal your true form. Nope, does not affect the music. Oh. <laughs> I have to say Makoto looks kind of ridiculous with those like ridiculous fists. Oh, no weak point. Like those ridiculous fists and the, uh, the, you know, just white cream swimsuit. Yeah, it's just the same. It's just the same song. By the way, Wander, you can change him into a weapon. Who? Our scene? That sounds cool. All right. You're not too tired after that, are you? But yeah, so sadly the uh, the beach theme is kind of unnecessary for this. Might just keep with it, or we might take a short a short break and I can uh, I I can get like the Dancing All Night DLC or something like that. I don't know. Have I unlocked the Sun items yet? I don't think so. I don't even know how to do that. I don't know when to do that. That sounds cool though, and considering I'm still like super wealthy. Uh, that sounds like something that I would like to do, assuming that I can just, like, cheese the crap out of that. Okay, yeah, next time, uh, next time we go back outside, I'll, I think I'll do that quick interlude to get, uh, to get some new costumes. Go up. Yeah, our chances of finding a treasure demon here are kind of low. But there's always a chance. Nope. Looks like no chance. Not in this area anyway. We've we've seen everything. It's somewhere. Unless there's anything on this upper level that I missed. No, it doesn't look Uh up. Oh. Over there. I have something. Can I get there? Okay, I gotta go here to get there. Yeah, there's one treasure I haven't uh No. We go here to get there. I like the fact that you can sprint into things and you will automatically start like moving and climbing and whatnot. Show me that part's kind of handy. Right. The first we should probably also heal up at some point. All right, Mafre. The whole like. Yeah, I'll, I'll switch them back. Her on, her in a swimsuit on a motorcycle just looks kind of bizarre. Just a little biz bit bizarre. You know, we never actually looked into the, uh... Okay. We never looked into the alternate costumes for Makoto that much. Here, let's see what else we got. Who 
Who's student outfits? Oh, right. These are like the weird totalitarian dictator costumes. I'm kind of confused about that part, but hey, whatever. I'll do it. Well, look at how... A couple of them are in like really, really like bizarre, almost like military costumes. And then the girls are just in, uh... The girls are just in, I guess Makoto is just in this like boring ass like blazer shirt combo. Okay. What is the main character even wearing? Are those like knives or something? I can't tell. Okay. Oh, it was here. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. So that's from uh, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner Rido series. Huh. Those are summoning tubes for demons. Okay. Uh, well, that didn't work out. I was pressing X to ambush the guy, and instead we got here. Ah, we'll be fine. Should probably have remembered to. Uh... I should probably have remembered to. Um... Do other things. Well, that's okay. Uh. Eh. Shame the damage isn't maxed out. And you can't. You can miss with that. Okay. I was always wondering if you could. Oh, and it blocked that guy. So he can block it. Okay. Let's try ice. I don't know. It's interesting if they don't have a mask, their face just turns dark, which is amusing. Okay, so this is a chanting baboon, so we can't actually learn thing about this. But yeah, if they don't have a mask, their face just has like this like weird black like shading to it. It's not actually like bad, it just looks a little bit odd. Okay, we should probably remember to to auto heal here. Man, Mediaramas. Kind of nuts. Hey. Hold on, there's something ahead. Look how tranquil it is. It appears to be different from the shadows we've encountered prior. Heh! Right. You don't gotta freak out about it. Let's beat its ass. Here we go. Brace yourselves. This is definitely no normal enemy. Foolish grave robbers, you have enraged the guardian of this place. Hence, there shall be no path forward for you. It is your time to perish. See, someday I just want it to be like a dog. Like, just a small dog. Like, I want the, I want this coffin thing to open up. Okay, that's slightly different. It's a coffin board god. What's a, what's a week to? Not dark, probably light. Well, that definitely does not help me. Yusuke is ratted. Well. Okay, who do we have? Okay, so block. Well, we should probably go for Lamia. Does he come back from that? I have no idea if he does. Bad beat. Okay, so we get a once more. I'm just gonna hit her. Should kill her. There we go. Oh my god, he. They have custom models for each character being ratted. Now that's interesting. Go down. We should 
Okay, so... Basic elementals... Okay, there he goes. He comes back. My assumption is probably resistant... Oh, uh, it's probably weak against wind or something silly that I don't have. Ah! That really probably isn't worth the HP damage. See, bad beat is worth it. Okay, so do we have anybody else? Doesn't look like I've got a single wind move. Well, uh, stag it, stag in there. Let's see if I can fear the thing. No, probably not. What's she weak to? Ah, she's weak to frost. Okay, I'll let uh, Yusuke handle that. Oh, Bufu. Oh, we froze the other guy. Actually, I probably should have. Eh, whatever. Did I have a uh, evil slice on one of these guys? We got Miracle Punch. What's Miracle Punch do? I don't know, but let's try Beast Weaver. Damn! Probably wasn't worth using, but that was cool. Wait, we have Assault Dive. If he's frozen, ah, we get the technical, but then it goes away. Well, that's unfortunate. And she's a mouse now. I really wanted to, like, take a look at the model, because there's actually something very specific. All non-special status ailments. Nope, doesn't work. Okay, well. We will just heal up, even though this is kind of expensive. Yeah, I wanted to see her with the mask on. Oh, there it is. That's adorable. It's super cute. Well, I guess I'm just going to turn on speed murder bo mode, because everything else is just going to be slow. Oh, jeez. As a rat, she takes a ton of extra damage. Well, honestly... I'm just going to hit it normally. Oh, that's what Recarm is. Probably should have healed her beforehand. Not that I'm terribly worried. It's just nice to have uh, healing moves. No, she has Diorama as well. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Yeah, I thought for a second she had Madiorama, but no, she's just got Diorama. Or Diorama? I don't know. Anyway, let's just uh, see if we can freeze this guy again, seeing as that happened once before. Nope. Salt dive! Yeah, I'm not too worried about stuff. I'm kind of taking it slow because I wanted to, like, uh, suss out its weaknesses. Though I guess since it's a mid-boss, like, who cares? As, like, just a regular mid-boss, uh, we will never run into another one like it. Oh well, doesn't matter that much. Ooh, 10,000 gold. Nice. Yeah, the special effect for re Recarm was, uh, really well done. Alright, we managed to scrape through it. Screw that. Yeah, scrape through that somehow. Let's keep it up and head for the treasure. We should make sure we don't get reckless, though. It's better to proceed one step at a time. Oh, we got, uh... Easy way up. I have something. Yeah, I should specifically try and get my uh, SP back past this point. Because I may have wasted quite a lot of it earlier. Uh, if I go... Ah! What direction do we want to go? I don't know. One of these has got to be a... Uh, what are these guys weak to again? Ah. Electricity. Okay. I'll just have to wait on that one. And he's asleep. That's okay. Of all the people to fall asleep, we're okay. 
It'd be nice if I could, like, uh, specifically... Make sure he's gonna have a turn. Well, I guess that works, too. Is it his turn? Yeah, Zyanga! Or Mazio. Mazio. Only unfortunate part is the main character's asleep, so we can't get a, uh, stick up. Or we can! Awesome! Well, that worked out incredibly well. Let's try that again. And then, of course, let's just beat the tar out of them, because everything else is not going to be that helpful. Okay. Then I think we need to, like, sit up or something. I don't know. Uh, I need to, like, figure out a better setup with this. Maybe for my birthday I'll get, like, a proper TV and a, a better mic stand or something. So I can, uh, I can actually play from my beanbag chair. Oh, so a strike. Light physical damage to all foes. Well, let's get rid of Rampage. Because Swift Strike uh, does the same thing, but better. Good work. So what's this? Keep it up. It's like a totally empty room. Something about this, though. No? And this... Oh. The light pouring in from the ceiling is reflecting off of here, but it's hitting the wall. I see. So we got some kind of puzzle that we'll have to... Uh, we'll have to puzzle through in a bit. What's this? Some kind of giant bow and arrow thing? Oh, that's a stationary weapon back from the Middle Ages called the Ballista. You know, you even know about the stuff like this, Queen? Well, I guess that's pretty fitting for you. And what's that supposed to mean? Come Hold on, up. Man. That thing ain't gonna shoot us or nothing, right? Well, there's an arrow in here, but it seems to be broken. On top of that, it's slanted anyway. But I want it to not fire straight. I guess we have to, like, interact with the thing sure, first to find out that I have to shoot the thing. Oh well, not the end of the world. Mochi break. I've got a whole package of mochi next to me. I probably should eat all of them, but I'm hungry. I don't know. Some days I like start recording and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be full for this entire thing. I don't need to worry about. It. And then like halfway through, my stomach starts rumbling and I'm like, no, this is why I'm fat. Okay, there we go. Yeah, unfortunately, the mochi is uh, kind of loud to eat. Okay, so we've got a large sealed door. Ah, this bears the exact same decoration as the door that blocks the Great Stairs. So? So what? Does that mean we ain't gonna be open it? Uh, be able to open it? No, I think it's the opposite. How we open this door should provide a hint for unlocking the other one. We might find something out if we investigate the area around here. Let's go, everyone! I wish this, this was one of those games where you could actually solve the pu puzzle preemptively. Oh, come on! So because I figured it out already, these idiots have to be, like, led by the nose. Well, that's unfortunate. I see. Um... I'm, uh, oh. So we've got this area up here. What's it? Oh, this is, this is something. Hey. What's this, this thing? Some kind of button? Think before you go touching that, okay? It might be a trap. Although I'm curious about it myself. Let's press it. You're As right. they say, nothing ventured and nothing gained. Very well. So this will fire the uh, ballista. Okay. I mean, I guess I didn't figure it out. I don't know, I always like game uh, RPGs with puzzles in them where you can preemptively solve the puzzle and just be like, Oh, I guess I'm already done. Holy crap, that was uh, that scared the shit out of me. It totally was a trap. I'm not so sure about that. It looks like pressing that button has changed something in here. Hi. Yes, there is no light being cast on that door. It's a markedly obvious difference. You're right, 
Let's go take a look, closer look. Namely, we can open the door now. Oh, hey, it's open! So, shining the light on the door is what caused it to unlock. Wait, doesn't that mean we can open the door of the Great Stairs the same way? That's a definite possibility. In any case, we should press on. Okay. And I'm going to slowly squeak my chair around as I get into a more comfortable position. Yeah, it's going to happen a couple of times. It's super... Super warm in here. Sort of. I'm super warm. It being warm in here is kind of irrelevant to the, my general body t heat. It's actually a rather nice temperature, all things considered. We've been surrounded by three enemies. Strong ones. Ah, it's these guys again. I think it's usually the monkey with the dog, but if you get ambushed, you get some extras. Makes sense. Unfortunately, we have not actually spent any time you. Well, let's just do everything, see what the monkey's weak to. At least we did a whole bunch of damage to it, so that kind of works. Okay, what's something weird that I can do? Uh, Mapsy? Mapsy! You mother... I am not having a good time with this, at the very least. Okay, so let's try Mafre again. Well, that was easy. Do we get a once more? Yes, but we don't get a we don't get a baton pass, which sucks. I gotta level her up some more, apparently. Well, at least we murder the monkey with a. We murder the monkey with a TKOs. Oh, that works. Let's see. Him. Anything else? Let's nope. go, Joker. What? Okay. Usually I can like just sprint into these corners and it and it works. Not today. Okay, so we get a rusted onk. I can feel it. Nothing else. Do we get a safe room? No, no safe rooms. I'm surprising. I'm surprising. I'm surprised. Man, I am I am on top of my English tonight. Mysterious statue. Hmm? It's holding something. What? Wait, what kind of statue is this anyway? Some kind of dog thing? This is Anubis, the Egyptian god of the underworld. It appears to have some kind of shining orb. That sounds kind of familiar. Something about light from the god of the underworld? Hmm, Joker. this may come in handy somewhere. Shall we take it? Take it. Very well. This may prove to be an object of great import. We got the Abyss Gem. I keep expecting a safe room, though I guess we haven't been adventuring for too long. Of course, we made friends. Okay, so this is just a basic Isis. Ah! And we know she's weak to Psy. Which we have. Or we could just beat her up, because honestly, she's not going to be able to do that much damage to me. Is which is helpful. A spectacular victory. Cause yeah. Alright. I could I could use my special moves on them. I could. But why? Okay. Are we good? Yeah. Mafre! I don't remember. oh right. Should we? I guess we could always switch Yusuke. Like, we could switch Yusuke out for Morgana. Might not be- oh, wow. That really does quite a lot of damage. Oh, hey, and this worked out. Save my life. Lend me your power. Yeah, I'll get rid of the Naga that I have. Unless I... Yep, it's full up. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Naga, because if I remember right, my Anzu... Uh... Anzu had, like, a lot more interesting skills than my Naga ever did. Okay. Okay, wait, the three stair rooms... safe rooms are along the big stairway. Really? 
And we're not even there yet. Ooh. Well, whatever. I'm curious how long these dungeons are. Okay, there we go. I was like, why can't we climb this? I don't know, I keep expecting these dungeons to be smaller than they are. And then they end up being absolutely humongous. Which I actually really appreciate. It's nice to play a JRPG that has some, like, serious length and design to it. What are they weak to again? Oh, Frost. Guess I probably could have just not, just could have hit her normally. Because it's going to be his turn next, and, well, Mabufu. Like, there's there's no point in me using my special moves if I'm just going to be immediately beating them up and one-shotting them. Eh. Okay. I'm noticing I'm, like, in this kind of weird fugue. I don't... Maybe it's because I don't play this game enough. Maybe I don't... I don't know. 